Hey everyone, I just wanted to give a quick little explanation before we go into the videos for my new series, which is Let's Play The Sims 3 Runaway Teen Challenge. Um, basically, I was going to release a, 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 um, a cast video and the first video separately, but I've decided to put them together. And the cast video has music and no, uh, no talking, so I'm putting this beforehand so that you know there's, um, Following this message right here, there will be the cast video, and that has music. And then immediately following it, it will be the intro for the actual series. If you don't know, I do intros for my series now. So, the intro for said series will be immediately after the cast. I just didn't want there to be confusion because it's going to go into another song. So that being said, I hope that you stay, I hope you enjoy, and uh, take care. See you soon. Bye.
Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Runaway Teen Challenge. Um, I'm doing some challenges right now. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to be doing that many challenges in the future, but this one I saw and it kind of grabbed me. I, I liked it. Um, it's really sort of loose in style. I'm going to be doing it in Lucky Palms. As you can see, isn't it pretty? Lucky Palms. I just recently got this world and I'm pretty jazzed. I made a few modifications. I added the the learning center and I added a casino lot that somebody else had made and things like that. Um so just little things. And um other than that, I haven't made too many changes. This is Ruby, her name is Ruby Donald, and she is a teenager obviously. <laughs> and she's going to be living on her own. As you can see, she's a little torn up. It's been a long journey. The funny thing being that she doesn't actually know where she came from. Um, you know, Ruby just found herself here in Lucky Palms, like, this very day. She, she, you know, ended up here in Lucky Palms. It was like the strangest thing. She doesn't even remember the last thing she was doing. She knows her name. Um, she has ID cards, but she doesn't really know much else other than that. So she's just gonna hunker down and do what she can, but she does feel very afraid for some reason, so she doesn't want to actually get caught, meaning that she's, you know, she's going to try to avoid adults. She's only going to interact with pets, teens, and children until she's a young adult. And she's really going to um, just try to sort of carve out a life for herself until she can figure things out. Because, you know, she's young and she's scared. She's probably like, you know, the equivalent of 15 or 16. Um, now, this challenge is actually really, really loose. Basically, the goal is just to survive and succeed. So, um, there is a mod that makes it so you can take out curfew. I didn't do that. We're going to see how that goes. If it's, if it's a hot mess, then I will have to go back in and put in a mod to take it out. But otherwise, I'm using a few things. Um, I'm using a mod which provides clothing for t pregnant teens because part of this challenge is, is that if the, you know, she actually you know, is going to be trying to forge a life for herself, and that may or may not involve her having a boyfriend, having a child, things like that. I mean, it's this challenge goes for realism. Now, first things first, just right out of the gate, let's talk about um, the whole teen, teen woohoo thing. The uh, woohooer is set so that she can woohoo with teens, and it's also set so she can woohoo and have romance with um, adults. This is not some sort of like social experiment where I'm I'm pushing any sort of behavior or things like that. I you know that's not even for me to judge. People can do what they want to do as long as they are consenting, healthy, emotionally prepared individuals. That's all I have to say about that. So <laughs> um, now and yeah, so you remember I actually used to work with girls in, in this this girl's situation. So. Um, it's actually sort of an interesting thing, but like I said, th these are not real people. <laughs> uh, so my having her do this, it's not, it's not meant to be offensive or perverse or anything like that. I'm just going for realism and the realistic thing is that, you know, she's on her own and she may or may not make poor decisions. We're really going to have to see how that goes. Um, and in the end, we'll have to see how it turns out because you never know. But ultimately, her goal here is to be happy and healthy and figure out who she is. So, there you go. That's essentially what we're going to be doing here. Um, the the basics of the challenge is you buy yourself a 10 by 10 lot. That's this here. It's actually not 10 by 10. It's 14 by 15. The game would not let me place a 10 by 10 and then move her onto it. I'm also, oh, I'm also using a mod which allows her to live on her own as a teen. So the police shouldn't show up, but if they do, you know, what are you going to do? Um, we'll figure it out. But, yeah, what else is there? Yeah, she has her 10 by 10 lot. Let's go back into the... One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I always, like, I always lose my bearings when I'm trying to find that right key. I play in the dark, so if you don't know that, I, I play in the dark. Um... But, yes, let's take a look-see. 
this is where her home is. It's out by the military base. And I think she chose it there because it's just to feel safer. She's, she's sort of off to the side. Nobody's really going to notice her. And then, um, eventually the goal is that she's going to make, she's going to build a little house for herself. But the rules are that she can't actually build until she has the resources to build each part. So once she has a child, um, she can get a part-time job. So it's like, there are all these rules. Like, okay. So she has to save up a month, enough money to buy, like, a house that includes one bath, one bedroom, and one c cooking space. Then, um, she has to bill, like, she can't get a part-time job until she has a child or until she becomes a young adult. And then she, you know, there are all these other restrictions. I'm going to write them out in the description. For the moment, really, the ultimate goal of this is going to be to, you know, get her some food and get her some money. I already purchased, just so it would be in her inventory for simplicity's sake, I already purchased um, a, a bike and a bike rack. She can't use them. They're in the family inventory. But that means that as soon as she has the 350 simoleons to afford the bike, we can go from there. Um, until then, she's really not supposed to take... Um, the a cab unless she can pay five simoleons which you do by purchasing a, a flamingo and putting it in, in your inventory so i'm going to try to keep on top of that but you know i might forget but that's why i wanted to have the bike so it's 355 or 350 simoleons that she has to save up for it now there are a few things actually over here there's the sandy place what's here yeah, this is just a little eatery there's a dumpster here which whoop, come on so I have my game set up. Come on. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, let's actually have her let's have her go here and we'll have her run. Because she can't afford to take a taxi right now. She has no money and she has no food. She can't go to school because obviously she's doesn't have any adults here and she's trying to avoid being discovered. Beulah Patterson. Hmm. Um, and yeah, see, right near her house, there's a park, and she'll be able to go to the bathroom, and if she can't get over to shower in the gym or something, she can, um, yeah, my, yeah, if she can't get over to shower in the gym, she can always swim in the pool, that's a thing, like, if you have them swim in a pool, you can raise their, their actual, um, like, hygiene score and things like that, there are lots of little workarounds. So it's kind of an interesting challenge, things you have to remember, and, and a lot of it is just using your imagination, which I like. I have it set up so that it doesn't um, render high-quality lots unless you're, like, right near them, so that's why it keeps doing this, but it's making me nuts. Okay, let's see. She can dumpster dive. That's how she can get money. She wants to finish a book. We'll talk about her in a second. Um, but, yes, she, wa she can dumpster dive, and... She can rummage through um, trash and gather scraps. She can go to the junkyard. There's a community garden here, so we're going to be having her go to the community garden to eat. Um, I will change these stories in a second. Um, what else is there? Okay, so she's here. Let's see. Why don't you... Let's go into story progression really quickly. Um, no, not cast options. My bad. General options... All stories, no stories. Okay, thanks, bye. All right. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, oh, this is a nice little place. Okay, so yeah, I'm completely unfamiliar with this town. <laughs> and I've got walls up. Let's put walls cut away. Yes, I'm completely unfamiliar with this town. Can teens drink from bars? They can Oh, she can place a snack bowl. So she can come here and get snacks, but only on occasion. Because here's, here's the issue. She's trying to avoid getting caught. So that's something to keep in mind. She can go to the, she can go to the fire station once a week and get snacks up to three times. Um, so she could do that for like three meals one day if I wanted her to just hang out in the fire station one day. Um, other than that, I think we're just going to have her scavenge and go around. This is going to be a lot like early legacy challenge and stuff, but this is a matter of if she gets 
brought in by the police. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, and also, like, she's really just trying to avoid people in general. So my keeping her from talking to people and all of that stuff is going to be tough. So, okay. Um, she has a good sense of humor. She's a night owl. She's a bookworm. And she has a green thumb. She's going to actually have her own garden eventually. And that's how she's going to be making her money. But while we're here, I figure why not just have her go ahead and dumpster dive. This part probably won't be very long, but I wanted to get it started. I'm going to have to change my high quality uh, rendering things because it's making me nuts. Um, what else is there? Yeah, we really don't know much about Ruby at this point. I mean, she's a very, very smart girl. I can actually show you her clothes and stuff. Um, but she found herself here. And a lot of the clothes are really ragged, so she doesn't know if she's had them for a long time, or in fact, if she has just um, she found a lamp, <laughs> or if she has actually. Um... Sorry, like my game is really loud in my ear. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, if, if she has. Um... Hang on, I gotta take that out of my ear. Yeah, so she doesn't know if she actually f found these clothes or bought them or if they were hers originally. It's it's not really a certainty for her. Okay, so she found a few things. She's nauseated. Her rebel stuff's going up, though. Why don't you visit? Can you go? Okay, can you go inside here? Does washing your hands help? Why is this friggin' stalker ice cream truck around? You know, that stuff's in the family inventory. Okay. Yeah, sorry. It's like, I play with headphones in, and sometimes the game sounds are so loud, it just confuses me. I My apologies. <laughs> okay, her hygiene is barely going up. So why don't you go swim, like, right across? And you're supposed to play this with testing cheats and Ableon. You are supposed to be using the mods, like the, like I said, that I put in. Um, so, you know, this is a mod-friendly challenge, which is handy because when I do challenges, it's not that I do it to be crappy, but I usually don't end up taking out my mods. I just deactivate them or don't use them just because my... Um, my game is really temperamental if you keep trying to remove and then and reinst uh, you know replace the mods oh so she doesn't want to talk to those people she doesn't want to swim though she's just going to try to avoid them so we can't let her talk to them she might feel inclined to her social is definitely going down i know you're dirty get in there okay so she's in the water take a swim and then as she's swimming i'm supposed to like gradually just slide her hygiene thing up a little bit so every time she swims I think she wouldn't want to call attention to herself and actually shower at this point <coughs> excuse me she probably figures just swimming is enough people will think she's here having a good time on her own agency her own volition a little bit more and then one more pass. Uh-oh. It's a little close to the uh, the elderly woman for comfort. So why don't you get out? There are showers here, which is something to keep in mind in the future. But right now, I think she just wants to sort of remain nonchalant. That looks like a teen. Let's see. Marisol, are you a teen? Friendly introduction. Let's see. She needs to throw up, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to say she's a teen. Wow, she's got an intense look on her face. Intense. Yeah, these are her swim clothes. It's just an old pair of jeans. Everything she owns is in this backpack. She has a sleeping bag. That's what she's going to be using. Oh no, I think that's an adult. Uh. So hang on a second. Fortunately, because of Woohoo, where we have this ask about age thing interaction. 
Yeah, it's hilarious. How freaking old are you? I'm gonna guess she's another. She's taller. It didn't look like it, but. Mm, yes, so she is a young adult. Um, I have aging turned off at the moment because um, there's actually no rule about aging. It's really just a matter of survival. And I really want to see how well she can do. I'll probably turn aging back on, but they always start you out like a few days ahead. I might just set her age back to zero. But um, I like the challenge of... of keeping her alive and all this stuff and she can't go to school and she's gonna get negative moodlets and things like that so I think that's pretty cool <clears throat> alright so there's a community garden around and I think before it gets too late she should go grab some food but here we are in a conundrum community garden so we want to go here there we go thank you I want you to go here. I want you to run. Yep, you're done. No more talking. She wants to stay up past bedtime. I made her a night owl, like I said. Um, I had originally made the sim um, have the insane trait because I wanted life to be difficult, like more difficult for her. But then I, I decided to change the story a little bit and... Um, I didn't feel that the insane trait was in a, was appropriate, so the cast video that I made for this, in fact, will not have that. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. Pick up those seeds. Girl, pick up your face. Alright, here we go. Um, what frig was it? It's here, okay. Go here. I'll try not to stop her again. She really has to get over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out. Damn. See, this is going to be a matter of my uh, remembering. Okay, so we're going to go here, and I want you to run. Run. It's going to take you a while. You're going to be hungry. We gotta get, we should uh, level up her athletic skills so that she can jog places and then at least it would be raising skills at the same time. Um, so what's some other stuff about the challenge? It's, it's like I said, it's really sort of, it's got a few strict rules, but mostly it's just loose and, and it should be fun. It should be, I think so. Obviously, you know, dealing with teen runaways and, <laughs> teen motherhood and pregnancy and stuff is is a difficult subject but uh, one that I'm sure this challenge <laughs> will will at least um, handle hopefully appropriately enough but what are you going to do? It's it's an asylum challenge. It's one of those funny things. I actually want to do the brothel challenge, but a big part of me is like, okay, you know, it's still it's still about prostitution, and I'm, I don't know how people would handle that. I'm a very laid back liberal person. If you haven't figured this out already, <laughs> okay. Mmm, pancakes. I wonder if we're going to get a notification about her. Um, or what's it? You know. <laughs> oh, left it behind. I thought it would keep following her. That sucks. Um, about her curfew. Hopefully not. Oh, someone else is running. Hey there. I'm gonna have to learn how to judge if someone's a teen just by looking at them, because sometimes you can tell. Particularly with male sims, it's it's easier. But for female sims, it's kind of like, uh oh. Aw, crap. <laughs> This is really, really pretty. I, I know a number of people, um, other LPers and also just people I know who play have said that Lucky Palms is one of their favorites, and I can see why. There's just something really, uh, really special about it. I haven't tried the Wishing Well. Uh, I believe that's, this is where that is, or yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, I just picked it up because I thought, well, it's a world I don't have. <laughs> 
groceries. <laughs> I guess let's turn it to speed too. I just kind of like watching my Sims do stuff. I know, it's like mega dumb. I just love watching them do normal stuff throughout the day. We did not get a notification about a curfew, so. And this is going to be really interesting with seasons. Um, because hopefully by winter we will have a shelter for her. Okay, let's pause really quickly. It's dark. Now what can we pick? The apple tree. What's actually harvestable? Um, why don't you go ahead and just harvest all of this? And then you can munch on something. It always sounds like they're humming the beginning of the Game of Thrones theme. Oh, Ruby's curfew. Well, hopefully she gets some food by then. Present the perfect garden. Plant and grow eight different species of perfect plant. You know, I've never actually taken that lifetime wish, so we will have to do that. Harvested garlic. This should give her some stuff to eat, and then we can focus on getting her some scrap and really just saving up for what's necessary because she really needs that bike. And she's super hungry. She's out after curfew, so she's getting... Okay, you better stop and then go home. Oop! Ha 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 ha! I wonder if he'll show up back at her place. There's no adult there. Who are you going to tattle on her to? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell one of the plants that she just uh, that she just harvested in order to pay for that cab ride. So, let's sell one of them off. How much is watermelon? Nine simoleons. Let's take that and sell it. Okay. Right now, she's starving. Eat the pepper. I love peppers. Peppers are good. How you feeling? Okay, that's most of the way. I want to eat some garlic. You can smell really awesomely. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now she's got a moodlet. Why don't you place... Oh, wait. No, that's not what I want. Place this. Oop. Hello. Hello. Can you just place it anywhere? Or does it have to be... Oh, yeah. This is her lot. Okay. Why don't you go sleep over by the bushes? Sleep. What's this mood like? Garlic breath. Whoa, it might be time to scrub away the garlic with the toothbrush. I love garlic. Oh, I love it. Okay, so she's hiding. She basically, she's sleeping. She's hiding from the military academy, just sleeping behind this uh, this cacti and this, this brush weed in order to get some rest and whatnot. Ah. <sighs> All right, so we're on speed three. Look up at the sky. It's always pretty cool. And what I'm actually thinking is we'll get her... Oh, and see, we're going to have to contend with, like, sunburn and stuff like that, too. Um, <laughs> they're playing Reveille, and she wants to cool down. Okay. Yeah, I don't want her to catch on fire or anything like that. All right. That a girl. That a girl. <laughs> Poor kid. What I'll do is I will show you her outfit, and then I think we're going to call it a quit or quits for this episode because I'm going to put the cast video at the beginning, I think. And we can just do it all as one. Come on. Which is kind of funny because at the beginning of this video, I quite obviously hadn't intended that. But what are you going to do? Whoa. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay. No. Oh, she's getting a tan. Oh, okay. She's going to get a burn at some point. She wants to do homework, but she doesn't have homework because I threw it away and she's not going to school. Um, 
Oh, they get a moodlet. So cozy and snuggly. I wish I could stay here forever from her sleeping bag. So that's nice. Gives her a moodlet. She was entertained. And she's got a nice tan, but I get the feeling she's going to burn pretty soon. All right, let's take a really quick look at Ruby. And then we'll go from there. And Stylist. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, another thing to note is that I... Um, I have an infection, and they're like it's not a big deal, but there's a small possibility that I might fall a little behind on up uploading, like maybe maybe a couple days, but it should be fine. Um, but just so you know, if I if I don't upload for a couple days, then I'm just uh, I have to deal with the infection, but it's not a huge deal. Okay, so here is Miss Ruby in her regular clothes. Obviously, I'm using the werewolf stuff. And this is her hair. She's keeping it tied back. She's being practical. And I actually made her from a pre-made sim. You'll see that. Um, but I really just... I made a number of adjustments to the face just to make her look how I wanted her to look. She ended up, to me, looking like the French foreign exchange student in Better Off Dead. So, what are you going to do? But I think that's kind of cool. I think she's a beautiful chick. Alright, so formal... This is her formal wear. I mean, this is literally, these are the clothes she has. So if she had to go to a formal thing, this is probably all she'd be able to put together. She's got her boots. She's got her slip-ons. And she's got a couple pairs of torn-up jeans, her nighty, and, you know, just regular clothes. It's, it's not very much. You saw her in that already. And then this is her workout gear. I figured I would just sort of keep the same shirt. I mean, no, it's not really glamorous to show off. <laughs> this is, as you saw, her swimwear. Yeah, it's, it's hardly glamorous to actually show off any of this, but this will give you an idea of what she has to work with. Oh, I put it on career. She doesn't have a career. <laughs> For some reason, in stylist, that always shows up. So yeah, that shows up as her career, but she doesn't have a career. All right, there we go. Hey, I got rid of this. I have these little handbag clutch things that will show up on their own in accessories, which with some outfits is fine, but sometimes it'll show up with things like this, and it's like, oh, come on. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Oh, it was right down there. Okay. And she's got these sneakers for the winter. But really, it's just, you know, grubby clothes. They look kind of like, you know, they're kind of dumpy. They don't really fit her very well. They look almost like she picked them up at uh, Goodwill or something, but she doesn't know. You know, so she's got to contend with not being aware of who she is. She's wearing these clothes that are not great. Up, I might even have her go to like the laundromat. I don't even know how do you use the laundromat if you're not actually taking off your clothes. Like I, I don't think I've ever had my Sims actively use the laundromat. Ah, <sighs> so there you go. This was I sort of did this last minute. I'm excited to be starting it. Um, the current and ongoing projects are Aurora Skies, as as has been. Um, we just added a new member to the family there. Monte Vista, which has also had a new member of the family added. Um, I'm going to be doing my four mortal sisters, which also recently had a new member of the family added, a little vampire baby. And then I will be doing Dragon Valley, coming in four days from now. So... This is all, yeah. It's all, it's it's going to be a lot of stuff. This this particular challenge may not be updated as often. It's going to be kind of loose, but I'm going to try to keep on as regular a schedule as possible and hopefully try to upload a little more often, at least guaranteedly every day, but I'm not absolutely 100% sure that's possible. We've got to see what's going on with my health. So, and yeah, the only reason I mention that is it's totally cool. Don't want sympathy or anything, but you guys should know that if there's there's a possibility that I might be out of commission for, like, you know, three, four, five, six days. So, something to keep in mind if I'm not uploading. It's it's definitely not that I stopped. It's just that I had to take a break. <laughs> so, again, thank you very, very much. I hope that you enjoyed this. I, I think it's actually going to be kind of fun. Sorry it was such a short video, but you'll have uh, you'll have the cast at the beginning. And um, I'm just really looking forward to getting to know the people of Lucky Palms and, and see what we can what we can do. 
and uh, see who she blossoms into and maybe discover a little bit about who she was. So there we go. Thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.